Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you Palak Paneer recipe. This is very healthy and tasty as well. This way you can trick your kids to eat spinach and they will like it also. So keep on watching. The ingredients we need are 4 cups of spinach, few cashew nuts, green chilies, 2 tablespoon of butter. I have taken bay leaf and star anise, some fennel seeds, half cup of onions chopped, half a cup of tomatoes chopped, 1 teaspoon of ginger and garlic paste, salt to taste, cumin seed powder, 1 teaspoon half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of red chilli powder and one teaspoon of garam masala. And the main ingredient paneer and also some cream. I have taken a vessel and pouring in around uh, three cups of water and a pinch of salt to this water. Allow this water to boil and once this water is bubbling up very well off the flame and I am adding in few cashew and the spinach leaves. If you want you can chop those spinach leaves and also add in. Wash them and add in. Allow it to sit in this hot water for around 10 minutes. So this process is called blanching. Here, once I have let the spinach to sit around 10 minutes in the hot water, I am going to remove it and put them inside cold water. By doing so, the color of the spinach leaves will retain. So after 5 minutes, I am taking the spinach leaves and the cashew nuts along with it and putting them into a blender jar. We can add little water here if it is required. I have added in green chili also and blending them into a smooth paste. Take a pan and add in 2 tablespoons of butter. Once the butter is melted and hot enough, I am going to add in the spices, 1 star anise and 2 bay leaves. Saute this for around 30 seconds and add in some cumin powder, fennel seeds and saute them for 30 seconds as well. So that the spice flavor will be incorporated in the butter. I am adding in the chopped onions, saute them for around 30 seconds and add in the ginger garlic paste. Saute till the raw smell of the ginger garlic goes away and next I am going to add in the chopped tomatoes. Saute these tomatoes for a minute. Then I am going to add in the required amount of salt and red chilli powder and also half teaspoon of turmeric powder. Saute them well till the tomatoes become soft and mushy in consistency. Once the tomatoes is cooked, I am just mashing it up a little so that we get a kind of gravy consistency and we can see it's cooked because the oil all is formed around the corners and we can see it bubbling. In this stage, add in the spinach puree. Allow it to cook slowly in a medium flame. 
add little water if it is required once the spinach is bubbling up and it's looking like this i'm adding in the garam masala and also i have chopped up the paneer cubes and adding it and just mix it up and allow it to cook for few more minutes please like share and subscribe to my channel see it's looking good and it's bubbling i have off the flame and at this stage just add in some cream this is just optional for that extra rich flavor in it if you don't have cream just add in a couple of spoons of milk also that will also give a good flavor thanks for watching